the gauntlet run was a grueling event for the A Division teams, but now we bring it to the B Division for the seventh event of eight. Teams desperate for a good result, the ones up top trying to challenge for the championship and the ones at the bottom trying to avoid relegation. Remember in the gauntlet run, each team will have their four marbles score one to eight points. The standings after event six in the B Division, Bacon Brawlers are at 99 points ahead of the Rock Pools and the Floundering Fish. In the relegation zone is the Deserters, Blue Lotus, Crete Fleet, and the Nickel Knights, who really, really need to get a move on into the final event. Venomous Vipers will start us off our gold medalists from the elimination race, the last B Division event. Well up there in the standings. They don't need to worry about relegation, but they do want the challenge for the championship and one of their marbles will get all the way to the end. Compared to the marks that we've seen in the A Division, the teams really struggled in the A Division. This is a pretty good one. You see two of them getting all the way down to the six zone. One falls on through in the six, one in the eight, but the other two gets just one, Viper and Python, dragging the team down a bit. So just 16, but that's respectable compared to some of the teams in the A Division. Now the Blue Lotus all the way down in 14th. They've subbed in Bluebell, their former member, now reserve. Back in the lineup, trying to do something well here. And they have a decent run, but then everyone seems to get stuck at the same place. Is that their can? No, that's Bluebell, their reserve. Falls on through in the one. And the marbles trying to help each other avoid the holes, but they all get stuck or fall on through in the five zone. So it's 16 points as well, but because they didn't have a finisher, Venomous Vipers are ahead based on this tiebreaker. Now, Rockpools. Rockpools Cove, their captain is sitting out on this one, so Vice Captain Coast will be leading the team, and Plunge is also in the lineup. Trying to challenge the Bacon Brothers up front, one of them goes streaking down the course. That was a very fast descent from, I think, Plunge that was. But then the other marbles can't match that their reserve and they will get four two and three but it's still good enough for 17 points by one point they are ahead of the other two teams and they narrowly take the lead now the floundering fish led by goldfish and clownfish is put put at the back based on some of the data they saw from the qualifiers Let's see if that can help them Oh, one of them gets stuck, but then they get one and two finishers, and this is a great run. This should take the lead for the Floundering Fish. Those changes clearly helping them. One of them getting all the way down to the end, and the other one following suit, avoiding the holes, and Goldfish, their captain, falls on through in the five. That's still good enough for 22 points, and the Floundering Fish have taken the lead. Floundering Fish up there in third place, trying to challenge... The Bacon Brawlers, and with a medal here, they could do it. Now the Treat Fleet, on the opposite end of the spectrum. 15th, with the two marbles getting well out in front of the other two. But I think it worked out pretty well. They were able to not get in each other's way. They're desperate for a good result, are the Treat Fleet. And they will get one finisher. And one very close to it, one seven, one four, and Toffee just gets two. But their Captain Caramel, Gets an A, and that's just one point behind the Floundering Fish. Now the Bacon Brawlers. The Bacon Brawlers, the winners of this event in the qualifiers in their group, and the championship leaders. But same could be said for the Red Lotus, and they did not do well. But the Bacon Brawlers will get two finishers, and one of them pretty far down as well. Bacon Brawlers have denied any other teams hopes of them doing poorly in this event so they could catch up. They will get two finishers, one six and a one, but it does not matter. 23 points. By one point, they have beaten the Floundering Fish. Bacon Brawlers, could they be on for another medal? Nickel Knights now. Nickel Knights, last place in the standings. Once again, opposite end of the spectrum. They are so desperate for a good result. They need a medal almost to guarantee no relegation and they're not gonna get any finishers. This was not a great run, but it wasn't terrible. You could see one of them falling in the one, but they did manage to get on all the way down to the six. That's coin, their second marble, but it's only good enough for 12 points and that's last provisionally. 
Nickel Knights, they are going to have to have a miracle in the final event. Now, Olive Orbs. Olive Orbs have been very consistent outside of one last place in the Quadrilla Descent. They have constantly been top half, I think. And they, oh, they have one fall off the side there. One finisher from Olive Grove, I think that is. This was a decent run, but certainly not going to challenge the Bacon Brawlers or the Floundering Fish up front. They do get one follow on in the 5, 1 in the 4. So 3, 8, 4, and 5 is good enough for 20 points, narrowly behind the provisional podium. So after the first half, the championship leaders, Bacon Brawlers, are up in front. They are trying to potentially clinch the championship before the final event. Floundering Fish right behind them, though. And the gap, if they get first and second, will be 5 points, which would not be enough for the Floundering Fish to catch up. But... If more teams bump them down, the gap will decrease and the Floundering Fish may stay in contention. Oh, Pumpkin Patch. That was a very messy run, I have to say. One of them goes off the side. But they did manage to get pretty far down. And the other marbles also managed to get past the front the first few holes. A lot of teams doing much better than the A Division teams in terms of getting past the 1s and the 2s. That's We're clearly seeing a step up in the performances in the B division. Now Amber Animals. Amber Animals have some lineup changes for one of the first lineup changes they've ever introduced for the Amber Animals. And they've put Tiger in the reserve and they will, Tiger the reserve will get all the way to the end. Hyena at the front, a lot of bumping between the teams there, but sometimes it's helpful. And I think it helped them avoid some of those early scores of ones and twos, but they do manage to get one, one, and one, two. So despite a finisher with Tiger, they only get 15 points. Now the Golden Cheeses. Teams up there desperately hoping that someone can beat the Bacon Brawlers. If they get another gold medal here, they might as well wrap it up. Golden Cheeses, they get a couple of marbles falling on through pretty quickly. One of them makes it all the way down to a seven, but it's no finishers for them. Oh, you can see those two marbles helping each other not fall into that hole. And I think that's Parmesan, their fourth marble. It manages to make it all the way down to the seven, and it is. But it's only good enough for 16 points. So that's seventh out of 11. In the A division, 16 was a pretty good score. I think it would be top half. Now, Team Nectar. Run 12 of 16. They have struggled so much in team events. They've done much better in individual, trying to not get relegated they've always been relegated in both season one and season two they get one all the way down to the seven that's honey the marble that got a silver their first ever medal since season one makes it all the way down to a seven and helps them salvage some decent points but it, the other marbles really not helping them any whatsoever because they only get 12 and that's 11th out of 12 team nectar I'm gonna hope that they will do enough to not get relegated. But now, Sinister Sprinters. They were doing very well in the B Division in the early part. With that gold medal from their Captain Demon. But, oh, that was not a good run. Definitely not good enough for the standards we've set, we've set here. And they, I think they get a couple marbles that drop on through in the 1. One of them makes it all the way down to a 6. And... Actually, it's 2, 6, 3, and 1. So they're in exact tie with the Nickel Knights for last. Not a good run for the Sinister Sprinters. And as the teams progress, the Bacon Brawlers, looks like it's more likely that they're going to get another gold medal. Mountain Climbers now. Mountain Climbers. Oh, that was a terrible run. They have one fall on the 1. One of them goes up to the side and another one also on the 1 side. And their furthest marble, Volcano, makes it only to the two. So it's three ones and one two for just five. That is worse than anything we've seen in the A Division and the Mountain Climbers. I don't see how that's not going to be last. I think, by the way, Bacon Brawlers, they're now guaranteed a podium. A bronze at the very least. And will it be a gold deserters now? Also in the relegation zone, but they have everyone on the board and two of them will make it to the end. The other two also very quick. Also very quick down the course, very far down the course. 
and the deserters, they might have just usurped the bacon rollers. They get two eights and two sixes, and that's good enough for the first place and a new record, 28 points. They don't just beat the bacon brawlers, they do good enough for a provisional gold and provision, provisional record. Deserters, this is exactly what they needed, and the Heliospheres, can they also bump down the bacon brawlers? Heliospheres are doing okay in the standings, they are not in desperate need of a good result, but it is not going to be a good result whatsoever. Three ones, I think. They have, look at this, just bumps from the marbles and they're losing so much slippy that they all fall down in the one. Their second marble solar makes it to the four. So it's just seven points, only better than the mountain climbers. So they will get 15. But now Nickel Knights and the Sinister Sprinters in a tiebreaker for 13. So Nickel the Captain, oh, makes it all the way to the end. Nickel Knights managed to make it all the way to the end. Sinister Sprinters now, if they don't make it to the end, they will get 14th. And oh, they fall in the two. So they will get 14th. Nickel Knights will get 13th and salvage three points from this event but it is the deserters on top they bump the bacon brawlers down and the deserters have one gold in the gauntlet run bacon brawler second and floundering fish gets their second bronze in a row the bacon brawlers they might just they might just have got usurped from perhaps clinching the championship but the deserters in 13th in the b division right now they will get a huge haul of points and surely get out of that relegation zone. But we'll have to see. Has the Bacon Brawlers done enough? And yes, they have. The Bacon Brawlers, despite not getting the gold, with 119 points, they have done enough before even the final event. The Bacon Brawlers are the champions of the B Division. A dominant, dominant run, even more than the Yellow Lotus in Season 1. Very well-deserved victory. They will be celebrating tonight. And everyone down to the olive orbs also escaped relegation. Everyone from the Sinister Sprinters down cannot make the podium. And unfortunately for the second season in a row, the Nickel Knights are going to be relegated. This time before even the final event. Very unfortunate for them, but there is still a lot to play for going to the finale. So stay tuned for the marathon.